Hey guys, Todd from Roadrunner Sports here. Today, doing the shoe review for the Saucony Kimvara 12. And wow, this, this one was super fast and uh, I've had a lot of fun running in it. So uh, let's jump right in. So first of all, I have to go back uh, a little bit in time. Kimvara has been one of my favorite shoes, or at least the line of Kimvara has been one of my favorite shoes um, since, gosh, probably going back almost 10 years now. Um, one of my favorite shoes of all time was the Kimvara 3, and there's been others in the line that I've, I've really liked. So I had the predecessor to the Kimvara 12, which was the Kimvara 11, obviously, and there were certain things I really liked about that shoe, and the 12 is completely different. It's it's a it's a totally different shoe. Some of the things I think uh, were really good updates. Um, other things, eh, maybe I didn't love quite as much, but I'm excited to talk about all of them with you. So first of all, let's talk about just kind of the stats of the shoe. Um, this one's got a four millimeter drop heel to forefoot, um, which is pretty normal uh, in the Kevara line. That didn't change much from the 11. Uh, this one, they did uh, lose a little bit of the weight there. So they were able to find a few places to, to knock some weight out. So this one comes in uh, at a seven and a half ounces. Um, so very, very light shoe. And uh, the predecessor, I think was 7.8. So they were able to find, again, some, some ounces there that they could uh, uh, get out of the shoe. First thing, slip your foot in and uh, the fit of the shoe is definitely different. So on the top here, the mesh that they're using is um, definitely more like a tighter woven mesh. Um, it's still super breathable for sure, but it's, um, but compared to the 11 that was like very airy open mesh, this is, uh, this feels almost, almost more like a racing shoe, like a true racing shoe than it does a, a lightweight trainer. Um, again, I didn't dislike it for, for going fast and feeling fast. This was great, um, but it certainly has a different feel than the predecessor did. The other thing about fit, um, I would highly recommend in this one going up an additional half size. For me, it fit definitely on the narrow side. Um, going up that extra half made a lot of difference where it didn't, it didn't feel overly narrow once I went up that other half size. I think if I had run my normal size in this, um, especially as I went more than maybe six, seven miles, you know, more than like 50 minutes, getting close to an hour, I think it would, I'd start to feel it and maybe even get some hot spots on my foot. So. High, highest recommendation to go up an additional half size. Other thing on fit, um, the tongue in the shoe I actually liked a lot. It's really lightweight, and on the inside of the tongue, though you can't, it doesn't even feel like it too much. But when it's on your foot, it, there's a good amount of padding here. Some shoes, the tongue they'll put in like the super like squishy, um, the thick padding almost. This is super thin, but it feels good on the foot. And they use the gusseted tongue. Um, it. I, really, really good tongue of the shoe. So I didn't get, you know, the tongue slipping around or anything. This this one, once you had it on, it fit really well. Let's talk about the ride. So the ride of the shoe, heel to forefoot, I just felt fast. This one, I think um, over the last few weeks, I think I've put close to 30 miles on it. And I'm, I'm really finding myself gravitating toward it on days where I know I want to go fast um, or that like, hey, this is a speed session, I'm gonna have you know, some intervals during during the run. I'm gonna grab this one before almost any other shoe in my uh, in my arsenal right now. So uh, I definitely liked it from from that standpoint. Outsole, they use this soft kind of more blown rubber. Uh, blown rubber. The they have the uh, the power run in there, um, and you can see there's a couple areas where they reinforce it. I don't expect this one to give me more than you know maybe 300 350 miles. Um, if it goes more than that, I'd be surprised, honestly. Um, but again, I don't think it's that type of shoe. This is not your every single day workhorse. This is a uh, go fast day and more speed type shoe. I would even say you wanna race this thing in a, in a half marathon, 10K, may, probably even up to the marathon. Um, this would be a, a really good option for a lot of runners as your race day type shoe. Um, maybe not so much on the 5K, but again, as the distance gets longer, I think this one um, serves a lot of purposes. Obviously very loud on the color colorway, uh, and I think there's a couple, a few different colorway uh, options for you. Um, I think some people will like it. It's definitely louder than previous models of the Kimbara. Uh, again, I didn't mind it, I kind of liked it myself. So all in all, I think the uh, the total package here, it's a, um, it's a very good shoe. It's a very good go fast shoe. Maybe loses some of the features around 
like extra comfort that the 11 had. But I think what you're losing there, you're gaining um, in just overall speed and efficiency in the shoe. So I really like this. Again, I, I tend to gravitate towards the more fast, uh, you know, lightweight training type shoes. So this one really fit, fit uh, my, my profile well. Um, I really like it. And I certainly think if you've liked other models of the Kimvara, um, you should come in and at least give it a try on because I think you're actually really gonna like it. Just remember, go up that additional half size because I think it's gonna make a big difference for you. Don't forget, uh, if you're VIP with us, you get 90 days to test run your shoes. If you order online, you get free shipping as well. So uh, really important. Make sure to subscribe to all of our channels so you can get you know the latest tips and tricks from uh, all of our trainers out there. And uh, we'll see you on the road.